Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. And uh, we have no clue how to pronounce this beer. I'm going to try, though. Okay. S it's called Sinalfius Pink floyd -y. I think it's Pink floyd I, Because it's Pink Floyd with an I. Yeah, it's the cover. It's like the cover of I another brick in the wall. Is it? I think so. Okay, see, I like Pink Floyd and I... I don't know. I'm just excited because it's a Gosa. It's short. And it's cherry and lemon. Yep. Right? Yep. 4.6% uh, ABV, 5 IBUs. And I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery. I think it was 2... I don't think the thing's on there. 2.59, I believe. Well, and like the thing is, is I tried to get it from Drake Party Center. I can't, I guess I can't catch it when they have their stuff. They have their new releases. Um, look at those. Look at that carbonation. Look. I don't know. Is that say? I oh, think I can it, read it. Look at the bubbles. Yeah. Um, almost a white kind of dark cherry head on okay, there. Okay, it says PKG 072418. That's fresh. Um, yeah, their bubbles are pretty much gone. The color, I would say, is a cherry color. Cherry 7-Up. Yeah. Lots of bubbles on the side. Mm. I feel so off not being, you know, saying the beginning with the name. Everyone thinks it's okay because <laughs> they, I would rather it be that than us butcher it and then get a bunch of crap about that. Yeah. Okay, smell. It's about the beer, drinking the beer anyways. It's not about what it's called. I think it smells like artificial cherry, and I'm not getting any lemon. I it, it's a it's like a little salty tartness is about all I get, like salty fruit tart. What kind of fruit are you getting? Are you getting cherry? Generic. Yeah, like it smells like artificial cherry. Yeah, it's not. I I I'm guessing it's the salt smell okay. that's covering it up, but I don't really smell like a lemonade, like a citrus. Okay. It's more of a fruit. I'm going to drink it anyway. Got taste? I'm getting some lemonade in the back, but it the, it lacks, for me, it lacks a cherry flavor and a lemon flavor, but I do get... Some a duff tartness to make my mouth water a little. Yeah, like that's what I was gonna say. Like the first half of the palate is like a tart, like a very tart kind of thing. It goes back. I don't know. I wouldn't say that a six pack of these would be worth it. Um, because I don't think that it tastes. It's not like a good flavorful beer for no, me. No, there's not. Being the Gosa expert that I yeah. am. Like tart in the front, then in the back, it's just like some more tartness. It goes down and maybe there's a tiny bit of fruit, but. I really want to, I really want to like this. How many of these shorts ones am I going to say this? <laughs> I really want to enjoy that. I really want to do. What do you give it out of five? It's not bad. It's not good. I would go 3.25. I You really don't... I don't really get that cherry, that lemonade. Right. So, But it's drinkable. Mm -hmm. So 3.25 out of 5. I'm going to 3 out of 5. I want more tart. I want more cherry. I want more... Here's the thing, though. But it's not a tart beer. It's a go say. Well, that's go what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. So... Taking away the tar flavor, so I'll backtrack a little. But I don't know that I would really like uh, the a salt, a salty taste with lemon and cherry. Yeah. I think that would be gross. So if that's what that style, this is what it's supposed to be, this actually tastes pretty good because there's no salt. You know, there's no salty. I just, I always keep going back to sea quench. There's just not that sea salt taste. Yeah. However, I like the little bit tart. Yeah, I, I, I think the tartness 
overpowers if there is any salt. Like Maybe it's get... supposed to be like a gosa because. Well, it... but you get. I do get that kind of salt in the smell, okay. but it's not coming through in the taste. That sourness is bumped up enough where I don't think it's. Well, coming. hear me out because this says Salvation Sour Series. Planimo. Salvacious Planimo Sour Series. So, if this is part of a sour series, this it, yeah. this makes sense and it does taste like a sour. It's just like a... Bland sour. It's a new sour. It's, um... I want to say a virgin sour. That doesn't sound right. It's like... A young sour? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's not... It's no Blue Sunday. Yeah. It's no... You know, it's... Not quite sour enough, but sorry. So, on Untap, none of my friends have had this. There's been 303 people that have had this, average 3.78. I would be the five. first friend of Brad's to have it. So, we're a little bit lower what in was our it? score. 3.78. We're a little bit lower, but it's a drinkable beer. It's just, I'm adding, my score is lowered because it says cherries, lemonade, and you're not getting cherry or... I get a little bit of cherry. Like a little bit of cherry. I get a little bit of fruit in the aftertaste, but that's it. But I don't get much lemonade. And maybe that's okay because... See, the the, the great people at Shorts Brewing make a delicious beer I like to call Summer Shandy. And their lemonade... But I'm saying their lemonade mixture is good. So maybe... Right. Maybe they just wanted us to taste like this and they're happy with it and... Right. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Good? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> cool, so that'll wrap it up for this video. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and thumbs up and check out some of our other videos.